Renovation Project at Harlem Bay. Sometimes you gotta pray for a victory. Yeah, I'm overzealous when I'm thinking about the... We have absolutely loads to do here over the next couple of days, possibly weeks, depending on how we get on. Free face consumer unit, that needs replacing. We've got JCC involved and we're going to put brand new lighting throughout. We need to get a free face supply to an air compressor, two car ramp supplies. The whole place is going to get painted, new flooring down. Thinking about LED lighting the flooring, but we'll see how we get on with that. So I'm just working out materials that we're going to need for this. And overnight, hopefully, this unit's going to be completely emptied and painted and i can get cracking on we're getting all this old lighting ripped out and hopefully by thursday the new lighting will be in this is sam one of my best mates and everything that you see me do in this video i am doing for absolutely free there's no real plan here so we're just making this up as we go along he's busy scraping the walls so i'm gonna start taking all these light fittings down sam's taking a jump into the world of full-time youtubing and he hasn't really got a budget for this project so he's calling in a lot of favors from companies that he knows as am i and i have to give out a massive thank you and a shout out to jcc and priorities for helping us out on this project so this is a lighting junction box, which is fed from that distribution board. And it looks like they've got a couple of armors which go over the top and feed the lights along the other side. So I'm gonna keep this here and utilize it to maintain that feed, because we're gonna have three sets of lights going down the middle. It's also been used for an alarm system, so we'll leave it in place for the minute. And I'm just gonna carry on disconnecting all the wall lights. So because of this tight budget, I'm gonna be reusing as much stuff as I possibly can. I've also got a load of old stock kicking about, so if I can find a use for it, I'm gonna use it here. So there's two ways to remove light fittings. There's my way, and then there's Sam's way. Would you like some help? Yes, please. One more. Oh, sorry, I didn't mechanic, I did it after. Thank you. Jesus Christ. So all of these walls are going to get boarded, yeah. which means I need to take down all of this conduit, but I'm going to save it and reuse it and put it back on top once we got this bit done. After a quick chat, we decided not to board this wall, but the conduit's still got to come off. The sockets are all knackered and we're going to do something different instead. Like I said, Sam's mind changes all the time during this project, so I'm just running with it. Yep. Once I've got these last saddles off, that is me done here today. And I've got to go to Essex for a job tomorrow. So I'll be back here Thursday and this should all be painted. Hello, mate, you're right? Yeah, that's me, us, mate, that's yeah. Oh, yes. I've got one pallet. Do you have a look at the garage then? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Nice, got, mate. Yeah, this is, I knew the electrician would step in and show me how to do it. See, like, you just do that. But it's arrived, I'm really excited. So, you excited, Adam? Overwhelmed. You sliding off your seat with excitement. Right. Is it worth bringing everything inside? Definitely. Yeah. All right, I'll get some mats down, get it loaded in. Thank you, dude. You may have well noticed that the painting is not finished, and that is because we ran out of paint. Once we got all the lights loaded in, we faced the biggest challenge of this project so far. And this is because we were all terrible kids. None of us seem to know how to count. And we can't work out how many lights are in each row. 38. Yeah, 38.6. We're going to make seven, six, seven. That's why they must do fours, because they're, they're knocking down the foot for the end, aren't they? Yeah. This is what happens when kids don't go to school. Or mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I still don't know, understand. I don't, I don't do maths, mate. No? No. It's not going to be a problem. We'll just lay them out. Yeah? See how it works. Yeah? Yeah, just lay it out. What? So basically, when you can't count, like any of us, you end up laying stuff out because it's all in feet and meters and none of us know how to convert that. So go to school kids. 
what he's saying is that he should have taken a little bit longer learning about numbers instead of electrocuting himself on the face. <laughs> that's it, that won't be any longer than that, will it? Look! Is it, is it, are you sure that's right? Yeah. That's not too much, Sam? No, never too much. <laughs> Can't have enough light. Oh, so yeah, honestly, I don't know I'm gonna to get to the end of that to connect it up, mate. There's, oh, there's loads of space up here. <laughs> no problems this <laughs> and, and then there should be some left over for the cabinets. Well there is, because that's one run, that's one run, so that's all of that done. Then there's two more boxes here, one for that and one for that. And then those left over. Cool. Yeah, five of them, amazing. Yeah. That's the whole idea, I might look like the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, look like the back cave. I've got that noise already downloaded on my phone, so when I do the video, I'm turning it on for the first time. Boom, boom. Are you going to wire each like, line up to a different switch? Yeah. So we can do that? Yeah. yeah. It won't make that fancy noise though. No, but we will set up some audio. <laughs> every time we've got to turn the light. So, what we have in this configuration is one four foot, one five foot, two five foot, three five foot. Four five foot, five five foot, six five foot light fittings to complete one row, and we're going to have three down the middle and then one either side. So, as they say, Blackpool Illuminations. That's enough chit chat. It's time to get some lights up and get this job done. That is the first row of lighting installed. I just need to pop them up. I wanted to leave them like that just to see how they are. And I've just done a temporary rig. It's on a plug top at the minute. Just wanted to see how they all worked. They look pretty good. So now we're going to pop them up and see if we do get that true line of lighting effect, which is what we wanted. That looks absolutely remarkable. Well, it did look remarkable. That's blown up. Sorry? Sorry, Yeah, all of it went pop. And I know it's the board's gone pop. Flick it back on? Yeah. I want to see what it was. I reckon it was that dimming module there. You want to break it for that? The emergency light works. The emergency light works, yeah. So if I use that, which is probably what it's for. You can say you did a test on it. Yeah, just testing. That was interesting though, wasn't it? Like you, you little dangerous bugger. Inside these lights are little covers that you're supposed to put over the connector blocks. But I didn't realise this and I trapped a cable and that's why the light went pop. That joint there. Yeah. Looks a bit skew. Yeah. And the one next to it. Yeah. And one, so just that, them two lights there. Yeah. You can see like the join yeah. on those two. Yeah. That definitely. one and that one. Yeah. Just on the end, there's a bug in that one. <laughs> so there's a few tweaks that we need to make just to make sure there's no light showing through either side. But it's all a learning process and we're going to make sure it's absolutely pucker. So I'm going to quickly run you through how these lights work. Here we have the toggle switch, which changes the fittings from 3,000 to 4,000 to 5,700K. And if you need an emergency fitting, it's exactly the same. Apart from you put the emergency pack there and swap out a couple of connections, but it's all in the instructions. It's nice and easy. I've got half of them installed and this is how it looks. Absolutely insane. So this is the easiest way that I've found to install these lights. First of all, you get like a joining kit. The camera's wobbling because of this as a lift, so bear with me. This is the joiner and you get a clip with it. There is another name for this, I can't remember it. So this, clasp, it's called a clasp. This just slots straight into here. 
which means I can hook my second light in. And on these lights, they're marked up end and start. So make sure the end joins onto the start from the first fitting. And then when you get to the end, you'll have the start, which will have the cable you need to connect onto your supply. Make sure you take out the rubber, rubber grommets first, which I haven't done, and then mark your holes. And it doesn't matter if you haven't got your chalk right on your line, just adjust your drilling hole so it is on the line. Pop your plugs in, get a couple of screws ready with washers. And then at this end, we have these plugs here and here. But before I forget, get your clasp on there and then you can do it up which will give you a nice join. Then take this plug and this plug, plug them in together. We have these other plugs here for dimming modules and this, which I don't know what it's for, but we're not using it. But these little covers, just cover over those connections and slide this one over these the best you can. Adjust your light settings. So we're on 5,700K and that's ready to go. Now I'm gonna pop the first fitting back in and these literally just push in. So once you've got your third light fitting up, then you can go back to your second fitting and I'll show you how to join the other bits up. Slide this diffuser out of the way and then pop this one up. And then what you see are these little joiner pieces here and slide them between the lights. And that will stop any light escaping out of these edges. Slide the diffuser back. And then you have a JCC line of light. So that is as far as I can go with that lighting at the minute because I have two issues. Firstly, we need to replace this board. Proteus have supplied one, I'll show you that in a minute. And this lighting, if I continue it, it's probably, it might snake over the top, I don't know. But I wanna get this out of the way and lower it first before we finish that off. Where these lights come pre-flexed, I'm gonna to have to run an armor to each one and install a joint box. So for the lighting end, I've prepared this whisker box. I've got my SWA gland in this end and a stuffing gland for this end, and that's for the flex from the light fitting. And I'm not gonna earth the armors at this end, I'm gonna do it at the other end because it's just gonna be easier. After connecting this end up, I've stumbled across another problem. So with these lights, they're really designed for like suspension or top entry anyway. And where mine is fixed to the ceiling, we have this end plate here. So my cables up there are laid like that, which means I can't get this on. So I'm gonna notch a bit out and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to keep it nice and tidy. Literally all I'm gonna do is drill a 20 mil hole, cut down an open grommet and pop it on the end. So that is all buttoned up now, as far as I can go with that. And this is the other end of my armoured, where you can see I've got tape on them. So that is, one bit of tape is for the first row, two bits of tape, the second row, three bits of tape, etc., cetera, et cetera. The next thing I have to get on with is changing this board out and Proteus have supplied me with a new three-phase board with Surge. So let's get it out, whip this off, get it in. Okay, very much alive. So I need to find the supply and isolate this. And apparently it's been labeled up for me. And I reckon it could be this one. Now that the board is definitely dead, I can get the old supply cable out and whip the board off the wall. The new Proteus board has buzz bar mounted surge, which I absolutely love about Proteus. They're absolutely nailing this. This is a hydraulic crimping tool that I'm using today. And if you've never seen these before, these are called dies. So you just need to select the right one to fit your cable. And these are the 25 mil dies that I'm using. So you just slot them in. And then the other side's got a push button release. And then you simply pump away. That's all the RCBOs in ready to go. It is three o'clock and I need to get the power back on for this roller shutter. It's gonna be a late night. So where you can see my light there, we were gonna install a board and mount all the switches there. However, plans have changed, so I've had to run it to here. I don't wanna crowd the switch box, so I'm landing off the SWAs into this junction box first. 
Blast the new board in. We've got all the SWAs here for the switching, apart from the one for to finish off that light, which we'll do in a minute. We've got loads of other stuff to still do. Are you ready? So we nearly done it, but you may have noticed I'm missing a couple of screws, but we are far from finished here. That's as far as I'm going in this video. There is still loads to do here, including new lighting all above the tools here. We need to run sockets all down this wall. And I need to run two supplies to these car ramps. The screen's a bit funny because I knocked my camera over and broke the lens. So sorry about that. I'm gonna crack on with this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. See you next week. And Sam's channel, it's awesome.